What's up everyone? Okay, I want to show you the coolest backpack you may have never heard of until now. To tell you about this backpack, I got to tell you the story of how I became an air quality scientist by Dyson. Because I'm really proud of that to be frank with you. I'm really, really, really proud of that. Anyway, a couple weeks ago, a friend of mine over at Dyson, he saw me on Facebook, I was cycling, I'm walking my dog a lot. He's like, wow, you're really active. And I'm like, yes, deep inside, I just had to lose some weight because I'm getting really, getting some chunk here. And yeah, as you get older, it's harder to burn off. Anyway, so I said, look, um, have you ever heard of an air quality backpack? And I'm like, no, I haven't. Haven't heard of one. Send me a link, the information, read the article, watched the videos about uh, this partnership between Dyson and King's College London happened in March of 2019, where they took um, a small study in the UK, had some students wear the backpack, go to school back and forth, had to put their books, their laptops, whatever they want to put inside of it. And just through their daily movement, they're actually gathering all this data for Dyson and King's College London to sort of dissect and analyze and to sort of see, see the air quality. And obviously, because now, with this pandemic going on, you know, so many cities and countries are on lockdown. Nobody's driving. You saw the canals in Venice are crystal clear. I mean, you, even when they showed these maps around the world, just the air pollution has died down so significantly. So Dyson really wanted to take advantage of this time to really monitor the air quality out there. I get it. Now, and I'm on board for these kind of things. Honestly, I love technology when they're helping out with people. I mean, I'm not much of a greenie otherwise. I mean, I like clean air and clean water, but I'm not like Mr. Sustainable. Maybe I should be, but I mean, I do recycle and I don't leave water bottles around, And but I do like plastic bags because they're a lot more sturdier than paper bags right now. But I do throw them away. I do throw them away, but besides that. So I took on the task of helping out Dyson for this, being one of the few here in Singapore, and then they passed me the backpack. Now I was, you know, I saw the video, I saw the backpack, right? And I thought to myself, okay, that was then. This is now. I'm getting a Dyson backpack, man. This is going to be wicked cool. I mean, look at the vacuum cleaners, look at the air purifiers. Those things are, whew, wow. So I was expecting like silver, purple, maybe a little bit of red, some gold in the backpack. Look at something like this. Stick. Oh! oh. Get him up! But more modern. And what I got was this. Damn! It's not designed by Dyson, by the way. This is by Case Logic. Case Logic does a lot of laptop sleeves and those kind of backpacks that you wear around for computers and books and stuff. It's really nondescript. Um, but it's not what's on the outside, it's on the inside that counts. And that's where this backpack is really quite amazing. Got the vents here. These vents are gathering all the VOCs, the NO2s, the PM 2.5s. I memorized that, by the way. And it's gathering all that. And it's got a sort of this processing engine inside of it. It's sort of taking all that data and analyzing it. And it's powered by a portable battery pack. I think it's solar power the way it looks. It, this thing is fantastic, man. I almost want to ask Dyson if I can buy this thing after the fact because it just lasts for days. I only had to charge this once and I've been I've had the backpack for over a week. Whew, pretty impressive. But what's cool is how the backpack sounds when you turn it on. Okay, let me show you. Let me sort of demonstrate this. I'll put it next to my mic. So I'm gonna plug the backpack from the battery pack. This is the battery pack, by the way. Look at that. That's nice, man. Whew. That is it's chunky, but look at that. I better charge it again, only got one bar left. Anyway, USB-C, leave it on overnight, you're good to go. Dyson thinks of everything. They even label, label the cords inside the backpack so you kind of know where, to, where, where it goes to what. Okay, listen to this. Wait for it, wait for it. There it is. It's cool, right? It sounds like a jet engine. And then it just dies down like that. And that's the only sound it makes for the entire time. So what was it like to wear the backpack this past week? Well, I started off 
walking my dog. Because me and my dog, we walk about two to four kilometers twice a day. A lot of walking, she's a Rottweiler, about a little over a year. She's quite fit, needs a lot of activity. Then I cycle as well. And of course, to stay within the rules of our circuit breaker, AKA lockdown, we weren't allowed to cycle you know, far from our neighborhood. I live central, so I went down by Marina Bay Sands, Gardens by the Bay, CBD area, because I thought that would be a very good area to sort of gather this information for Dyson. And then when I walk my dog, I go to Botanical Gardens. So there's a lot of greenery, there's a lot of you know, trees and bushes, because those also affect the air quality as well. And that's what I did off and on for the past five days. I really put this bag through the ringer, so much so, I gotta wash it. Because while this bag is lightweight, about a kg with everything inside, this. A brother, this guy stinks! Sorry, Dyson. I gotta wash that before I give it back. But it's hot and humid here in Singapore, so perhaps if they do this in the future, maybe something a little more breathable. Maybe they have a Dyson backpack by then that has like air conditioning in the back so it just keeps your back cool. Wow, that would be nice with this. My experience overall was positive. I was helping the science community. I became an air quality scientist from Dyson. Maybe I'll even have a cubicle in the office. Might be way, way, way in the corner. Cubicle 545. You know, really high wall, you probably won't see me. But, air quality scientist. Can I keep the badge, guys? This would be cool. Because my mom and dad would be really proud of me. I, I failed science when I was 15, and now, 30 years later, I've redeemed myself. Maybe I'll just take it. No, I can't do that. Dice, only give this to me, please. Not the backpack, just, just this, just this. Anyway, those are my experience with the air quality backpack. Dyson, thank you so much for the opportunity. I am now a scientist. Life is good. Take care, guys. Great. In Singapore. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, after seeing this kind of data, do you think there's anything that you would do differently? Or what do you think you've kind of learned as part of this? of this experience actually to be frank with you i thought it was gonna be much worse than what it was so <laughs> um yeah i mean you know because everything's in green which is good right i mean that's what we want it to be as much as possible minus the yellow hot spots you know um so i actually was quite impressed i, I mean considering you know the traffic i mean obviously you know during lockdown there's no traffic so i expect it all to be green you know and it pretty much was uh, from the map that I saw on the second on the second page, but uh, post lockdown, I mean, yeah, I think it's gonna it's pretty interesting, you know. I think obviously with Singapore with a lot of the eco friendly buses now and they're sort of you know and a lot of the cars and everything else that we're using now and what different modes of transportation, I think it's it's working, which is great. Yeah, exactly, and I think that's I mean it has been nice to see Singapore does seem to have kind of like generally lower levels than some of the other. Um, projects we've seen but I guess again it is kind of important to also highlight that that is your kind of personal exposure um but yeah it's nice to see that you know your daily route that you've been taking seems to be be fairly good so yeah no. all right cool do you have any kind of questions or anything um while well, we've got Jess here or is that clear for you no I mean if we do this again can we change the backpack it's not really good for our climate in Singapore I told Heidi, it's a very sweaty backpack. Ah, that did, yeah, because we did have some, we had some people going on runs with the backpack as well, and they wanted a running version, so that would hopefully sort out the sweat problem as well. Yeah, yeah, I mean, something a little bit lighter weight that could breathe, because, you know, in Singapore, we're so humid that, yeah, uh, yeah I, I, I'm i sorry yeah. to whoever collected my backpack, I really apologize. <laughs> no, that's a really, I mean, it was originally developed for, for school children in England, and I suppose the weather is so terrible that <laughs> yeah. they didn't have to worry about sweating, but um, no, that's a really good flag, and we'll definitely bear that in mind for our future generations. Thanks for the feedback, Bobby. <laughs> no, no, keep that in mind. Whatever, I can, whatever I can help. No, but actually it was a lot of fun. I had a lot, it was really fun to do this. And uh, yeah, I mean, looking forward to sharing my experiences, you know? Yeah. Great. That's great. 
All right. Well, thank you guys. Thank you, Jess, for the, the thank great you. explanation. And I uh, hope my uh, my journeys have helped you in analyzing this information a little bit more. And yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Thanks for thanks for agreeing to help with the data collection. It's yeah, definitely uh, an interesting data set for us. So thank you. For sure, for sure. Thank you.